Senator Clemens, you're recognized to speak. Thank you, Mr. President. I rise in support again for LB 574. I'd like to read a message I received from a Nebraska professional counselor on their opinion of gender transition procedures on minors. It's unthinkable to me as a licensed medical health professional and parent that we live in a time when people refer to the chemical sterilization of children as health care. The science is clear. Children do not have a fully developed frontal lobe. The frontal lobe of the brain provides human beings the ability to fully ascertain how their actions will impact them and others. It is not developed until the age of 25. To be honest, this bill doesn't go far enough. No person should be able to mutilate themselves chemically or physically until they are mature enough to understand the long-term effects. You don't have to look far to see the devastation in the lives of detransitioners, all because of this great lie be being perpetuated on this generation. Medical professionals say puberty blocker treatments are fully reversible. Where are the studies? There are no long-term studies. These young people deserve compassionate care to help them address the root cause of their distress when it relates to their biological sex. No other mental health diagnosis is treated with the affirmation only model. We don't affirm someone's suicidal ideation. We treat them maladaptive thinking patterns. I'm ashamed of my profession for perpetuating gender ideology at the expense of children. None of this should surprise us when considering that the same people who promote this destruction are completely fine with snuffing out human life in the womb for the purpose of convenience. Let them grow. A professional counselor from Nebraska, name withheld by me for their security. I yield the rest of my time to Senator Ben Hansen.